The following is a production of Learfield Sports. No game for the Badgers this week, but no bye for the Badgers sports report. We'll get up close with some of the Wisconsin Badger players. We'll also hear from some fans on what they believe makes Camp Randall Stadium so special. It's all coming up on this week's edition of the Badger sports report. First quarter, no score. Badgers, though, on the move. Double wide to the right. Now Reggie Love in motion. Fly sweep left. Here comes left to the 40. He's to the 35 to the 30. Love to the 20. Love to the 10. To the 5. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Reggie Love gets the Badgers on the board. Eric Watt, Melvin Gordon in the eye formation. Right behind Tanner McAvoy, who ducks under his center, Dan Bolts. McAvoy takes a snap, hands to Gordon. Has room, right side, 10, 5, end zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Melvin Gordon from 14 yards away. And it's 16-7, the Badgers. The Badger 13-yard line, second and nine for the Leathernecks. Snap back to Norvell, back to throw. Badgers bring in five, and the pass deflected, and it's intercepted at the 10, 15, 20. Michael Caputo across the 30, and his roll to the turf near the 35-yard line. Matt Zobris, the right tackle over to make the stop. A deflected pass that is picked off by Caputo, and the Badger defense comes up big when it had to. In motion to the left, McAvoy rolling right, throwing, caught by Gordon at the five, bangs off one defender, slips another tackle, touchdown Wisconsin! Melvin Gordon showing the hands on the reception, and then... To the left, running back to Ramish and Gordon, quick shot left side, caught by Erickson at the 10, at the 5, to the end zone, touchdown Wisconsin! the catch and passes all day so it's fitting that Alex Erickson takes it to the end zone to the 10 to the 5 touchdown Wisconsin Corey Clement taken down by Michael Caputo 20 10 5 touchdown Wisconsin Melvin Gordon 20 10 5 touchdown Wisconsin catch up there The Badger Sports Report with Gary Anderson is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Hyundai. By Adidas. By Toyota. And by UW Health a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Some call it a miracle. Others call it science. But for those who've needed a kidney transplant like Kelly Krager, they simply call it a new lease on life. For nearly five decades, UW Health and the University of Wisconsin have been national leaders in the field of kidney transplant providing a new life for recipients and assuring a normal life for living donors. Miracle? Science? Maybe it's a little bit of both. UW Health. Remarkable. When you have the fastest internet speeds, you can find anything almost instantly, which is a powerful thing. Because sometimes it's not so much what you're looking for, but how fast you can find it that makes all the difference. Get the most advanced fiber network. Charter Spectrum. Where will it take you? Wisconsin cheese, making good food great. Fans use signs to identify themselves. The chop, the fork, the O, the gum horns. But there's one sign everyone wants to be identified with. Number one, fans show their loyalty in all kinds of ways. Ours just buy another Hyundai. 
Number one in customer loyalty five years in a row. Show your loyalty using the hashtag ThisIsLoyalty. From the McLean Center here on campus, welcome to the Badger Sports Report. Joined again by head coach Gary Anderson. You're going to see the variety of offenses. I know I think we talked about it last year in the Big Ten alone, but if, there are, if there's one thing above all else that separates college ball maybe from the NFL, would that be something you'd put your finger on? Just It seems like there's a flavor of the week, the style of offense that you face. Absolutely. You know, it. Uh... You can go a lot of different ways in, in the offense. You can go from pace to the option to the ground and pound teams to the teams that uh, you know want to throw it every down. Some teams want to run it almost all the time. So it, you're going to get it all in this conference. You get it all. Other than a true team that lines up in you know triple option and old school triple option Fisher to Berry type back at Air Force <laughs> in the day, um, you see it all here and. Uh, that is a challenge, and I think you're starting to see that spill over to the NFL with the spread offenses. It has changed some defenses and the way they're playing with the athletic quarterbacks. It used to be, you know, when Coach Alvarez was here, always talked about building a defense inside out. Mm -hmm. Is it still that way, or maybe has that changed a little? Oh, bit? I think so. You, you can. There's different ways to play coverages, but just like on offense, you want to be able to run the ball. You know, we always say we want to stop the run, and we want to be able to run the football. And when you're building the defense, if you can't stop the run. They're never going to throw it. But you also want to have those pass rushers that can change the game because the best pass defense is a quarterback that can't get the ball off. So it's, it's going to start up front for us. We put high value on recruiting those corners. We need to get them in here. But if you have a front, don't have a front, I don't care who's playing in the back end, you don't have a chance to be a good defense. Yeah, but speed still, that was an area that no I think question. throughout the, the course of the team, yes. but on the defensive side, an area that, that any school would want to boost if possible, right? Yeah, we, and we've, we've uh, moved in a good direction there. I think you can see that with the, the two young DBs that will play this year as we move through the year and play consistently. Derek Tindall and Lou Born Figaro, they'll both play a lot. Those two kids are in and they're playing. And then the three wide receivers, you'll see those young men. So, and I, I think our class overall has some great speed with a few of those kids that will redshirt. Uh, jump topics here again. It was a, a question of the week we had about the facilities, and now there's the you other know, Stephen Bennett Student Athlete mm -hmm. Performance Center. We talked about the locker room upgrades uh, that, that have now been around for for more than a year. It's something, and now players have a chance to eat anytime he or she chooses too. Some things are being done for the student athlete, especially here at Wisconsin, that have been a real positive. Would you agree? Yes, and it's uh, Coach Alvarez wants the best of the best for the kids. And not that's not just football, that's every student athlete, and every student athlete here understands that that is the facts. Um, they all, he also holds them highly responsible. And we all know that also, and that's the way it should be, and that is the expectations. But these kids are well taken care of. They're always gonna be on the cutting edge. They're gonna have what they need academically. They're gonna have what they need socially to prepare for life. And they're gonna have what they need, you know, from an athletic standpoint to be able to be the best of the best. Well, I would imagine, you know, I haven't surveyed every campus in America, but I would think that most, if not all, would be hard pressed to top the facility upgrades that have gone on here with the locker room, with the performance, with the student athlete performance center. That's really big time now, isn't it? It is. It's big time. I tell our recruits when they walk through here, and I tell our young man in the program, they, you know, they deserve the best of the best. This is the Big Ten. This is Wisconsin. It should be, you know, the nicest, and it is the nicest. Um, one place may have this, one place may have that. It's not a reason for you to come to school here, but that's what you should have when you come to a school like Wisconsin because it's uh, it's uh, such a, you know, it's a top level. It's yeah. as good as it gets. But our kids handle it well. Um, they take care of it. They better take care of it. And if they don't, they'll be doing a few extra sit-ups like they did the other day. We had a couple cups left out. <laughs> there you go. There's, there's the reminder. <laughs> yes, Keep everything exactly. clean. Yeah. One of the functions here this during camp we were at, we were talking with Michael Caputo, who's a big hitter, doesn't talk a whole lot, mm -hmm. but he's a big hitter. But I asked him just describe that feeling. And he had a hard time putting it into words. It, it means that much to him and your guys to come out of that tunnel and know there are 80,000 people rooting hard for him. Yeah. It is kind of hard to put that into words, I guess. It's very hard to put it into words. Even now that I've gone through it you know, eight times, once on the other sideline, the seven times last year, you, uh, you're more excited for it year two because you understand that you only get it seven times a year. And that's all these kids are going to get it. That's all the coaches are going to get it, the fans and everybody else. So those are very, very important hours. Um, they're hours that... Uh, we work long and hard for to have the kids and the fans have success for. So it's so important for us to, to play well at home 
from a coaching standpoint so the fans enjoy it and the players have memories that will last them a lifetime. Stay with us. We'll continue. Coach Anderson will rejoin us a little bit later with this week's Great Dane, Great Question of the Week. And also we'll have our Senior Salute. This week's topic, this week's subject, rather, for our Senior Salute will be linebacker Josh Harrison. All that coming up as the Badger Sports Report continues. It's 2050. I'm one of 9 billion people on the planet. Like most, I live in the city. Our air and water are clean, and there's plenty of fresh food for everyone. My parents are getting old, but staying healthy. Good thing, because my kids will probably live to be 100. Can you imagine? The University of Wisconsin-Madison, preparing minds to meet the challenges of the future before they become the challenges of today. Keep on, Wisconsin. Keep on. So this kind of disorganized chaos is basically uh, a bunch of fans and friends and family. They just come out and hang out with us in the middle of camp. So it's a nice break for us and we get to meet a bunch of people. Basically uh, a bunch of fans and families come out here. Some, some of them wait um, even from noon and we started at 7. No, started at 5. And uh, just to come out here and see some of the players. And, and, and the guys love it too, just because uh, it, it's nice seeing the fans, nice seeing some smiling faces in the, in the middle of two days. It's, it's awesome to get the fans here, and um, we appreciate them a ton, so it's, it's great to see that they came out. I mean, I just got a couple of people right there um, saying, oh, Wanaki, I saw Wanaki shirt, you know, not too long ago, so it was awesome. I think it's great. I think it's wonderful that the university puts this on, gives like a chance for like the fans to like introduce to the players, get their signatures, and just get excited for the football season. It's a great turnout. We love interacting with the fans and seeing everyone come out and support us. It's been a lot of fun for them. They've enjoyed it, even with yeah. the long lines. They get a little it's, restless. It's, but really, it's really awesome here. We like the players really much. Well, the best one I saw was, uh, was 43. Um, I signed for the first time the back of someone's neck today. I also signed um, like this 10 year old's forehead. Wow. I, yeah, I've, I've signed some different things. Mainly posters, balls, hats, visors. I signed one really cool uh, hang it up on the wall, like almost like a picture frame kind of deal. So I don't know, you get a little bit of everything. Everything. Cards, helmets, er anything and everything. I'm signing. Everybody grows up coming to these things, and now we're, you know, we're the ones signing everything. So it's it's really cool. Who, who would think that somebody would want your autograph? It's pretty cool that these kids get all excited, and it's special to, that we can do this for them. Uh, it was pretty surreal, actually, because you know you're at that point someday in your life, you know, when you're a kid, and you just want to be that person so bad, and you get to be there and try to set a good example. So it's a great feeling. You look up to these guys and you think it's so far until you can possibly be there and then you blink your eyes and you're there. It's the most amazing experience that you can try to like help a kid out or give a kid in, you know, inspiration for doing something that's so little. We've done a football. That's all we've done so far. We've yeah. got a whole lot of babies and little girls been able to shake our palms, which has been exciting. They like get really cool to that. So. I saw it on Facebook um, and we were planning on coming this weekend anyway, so we thought it would be a good thing to come on down. We love the Badgers. This is just really unique. We went to um, Packer Family Night, which is super fun, and we love to watch that. But getting a chance to meet the players and come down on the field, it's just such an iconic place to be and such a unique kind of once-in-a-lifetime kind of thing to be able to get up and see you know, their stars and just really something to aspire to. Great role models for the kids, too. I really like meeting them, and they've been like really nice, too. Same. <laughs> Taking pictures with them. It means the world to me, just being a Wisconsin guy um, from the Milwaukee area, I've been here for, this is my last year I'm a senior, so um, it really means a lot to just have the whole community out here. I think it's great, it's been great every year, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger, and when we're all standing out here and we see the mad dash of everybody running in, it just makes you feel really good, everybody in the community really cares about the program. Yeah, I haven't been outside, but I just saw them all come running in. I was like, oh boy. It's a big turnout. I mean, that's a big reason why I wanted to come here. You know, you have the, the fan support of Wisconsin, and, and that's why you want to travel thousands of miles to get here, because the fans, you know, everybody's crazy about you in the state. It's awesome to be here. 
I was surprised, honestly. It looks like a football game. All the people in the stands came down on the field and getting autographs from everybody. There were some dedicated Wisconsin football fans. I was saying that to people before we walked in. How many people showed up? I was so surprised, but it's a good turnout. And I thought last year, I'm like, there's no way it could get any bigger than this, but this is this is pretty unreal, so it's outstanding. It just shows that we have an awesome fan base. We always have, and, and um, that it's just really nice to see the, the fan support even when uh, even when we're not playing anybody at the moment. I think it's wonderful. I mean, it just shows like how much Badger pride like everyone has, and like just for an event like this, like football games, it's like triple this. So it's wonderful. On Wisconsin, right? <laughs> It's funny how seeing a clearer picture can lead you to see the bigger one. Get the most HD channels and the fastest internet on the most advanced fiber network. Charter Spectrum, where will it take you? Most people don't know that UW Health and the University of Wisconsin are national leaders in the field of kidney transplant. They provide new life for those who will likely die without a transplant. And they assure a normal life for those who donate. I would know I donated a kidney and together we saved a life. UW Health, remarkable. Whether you're out there training for a big event or you're just trying to stay in shape, I have a bit of advice. It's important to remember that what happens after the workout is just as important as what happens during the workout. My advice, be sure to refuel with low-fat chocolate milk. It has the perfect mixture of protein, carbs, and electrolytes to help you refuel, rehydrate, and build muscle. In Wisconsin, athletes win with low-fat chocolate milk. And you can too. To learn more, visit winwithchocolatemilk.com. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the officially sanctioned annual award recognizing all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. NACTA and USA Today co-founded this esteemed honor in 1993, still widely recognized as the crowning achievement in college athletics. On game day, Camp Randall Stadium is one of the greatest places in all of college football and really one of the loudest as well, but that's just my opinion. What's the fans' opinion on what makes Camp Randall so great? Well, that's what we asked them. Fans! Cool. The sports, it's great. Football. Yeah. Best football team in the world. Yeah. What, what makes Camp Randall so special? Why, why are Saturdays in Madison so great? The atmosphere. You just can't beat it. I just don't think you can find this anywhere. No nope. camaraderie, the red, the, the band, people, the band. red, the players, the people. Love it. I think you guys are kind of Badger fans. <laughs> That's why our blood is red. That's right. It's just the energy. Like no other stadium in the whole country has like this many fans and like all these people, like alumni, students, everyone. The whole whole Wisconsin comes out to support the Badgers, and it's great. Just big and. Fun to be here with a big sea of red. What makes the fans so special here at Wisconsin? Oh, high energy. Um, they don't quit. They're committed. They're very knowledgeable. Um, and a lot of the, it's basically local. It's local and they care about their players. A lot of red. A lot of red. Makes me want to go to college. It's cool that this is your first Badger game. Yeah. What are you expecting today? We. This is your first Badger game. Tell me how excited you are to be here. I'm, I'm like shaking. <laughs> I don't know. It's just nice. It's just like, it's just like surreal. Like you're so close to everyone. It's exciting. And besides having some of the greatest fans in all the world, it has some of the greatest food as well. Trust me. I know. At Camp Randall Stadium, I'm like jocks for the Badger Sports Report.
going back to Ohio, they don't know a lot about the Badgers, so I'll definitely be establishing that. And uh, I've learned a lot up here from not only just football, a lot from football, but a lot from the community too, and this state really. And uh, the education that I'm taking from here will definitely be uh, applied back home too. You have a whole nother year worth of memories to create, but just on what you've experienced already, what are some of your favorite things that stick out in your mind? Definitely uh, locker room moments, you know, with teammates. It's been a, a blast. We have a blast behind the scenes together, just being a family and uh, all the time we spend together. Um, Games in the locker room, hanging out in the players' lounge, of course, man. And so it's not just one moment. At all. Like the accumulation of everything. Oh, yeah, very much so. Every single second will be remembered and important. Oh, yeah. Every year, the senior class kind of finds its own identity, and fall camp is a big part of that. Yeah, we've got a lot of lead by example type of guys, and uh, they're doing just that, and they're doing what they need to do. Or, uh, showing the young guys how to practice, making sure they're where they need to be, when they need to be there, because we're going to play a lot of young guys this season, and so a lot of upperclassmen are definitely showing them the ropes, guiding them, leading them, getting them ready so that we can definitely do what we need to do on the field this season. Last year's senior class was huge. Yep. Um, what are some things you guys learned from them that you guys can show to the, the younger generation coming up? Number one is energy and fun and love for the game and just coming out here at practice and exerting that and just having a good time and that's something that the young guys have to get used to because they're just learning the playbook, some of them, and you know, they're nervous, trying to, you know, impress the coaches and whatnot, so we just got to show them how to have fun and just do it, do what we've been doing our whole life and play football. Looking to finally win a bowl game or postseason game, haven't done that since I've been here, so that's number one, but we've got a lot of stuff to do to get to that point in the first place, but um, I'm looking forward to just going out with a bang. I mean, I'm expecting nothing less than national championship this season, so that's going to be great. I'm looking forward to that for sure. Fans use signs to identify themselves. The chop. The fork. The O. The come horns. But there's one sign everyone wants to be identified with. Number one, fans show their loyalty in all kinds of ways. Ours just buy another Hyundai. Number one in customer loyalty five years in a row. Show your loyalty using the hashtag thisisloyalty. When you have the fastest internet speeds, you can find anything almost instantly, which is a powerful thing. Because sometimes it's not so much what you're looking for, but how fast you can find it that makes all the difference. Get the most advanced fiber network. Charter Spectrum, where will it take you? Some call it a miracle. Others call it science. But for those who've needed a kidney transplant like Kelly Crager, they simply call it a new lease on life. For nearly five decades, UW Health and the University of Wisconsin have been national leaders in the field of kidney transplant, providing a new life for recipients and assuring a normal life for living donors. Miracle? Science? Maybe it's a little bit of both. UW Health. Remarkable. Mmm. Wisconsin Cheese, making good food great. The Badger Sports Report with Gary Anderson is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Hyundai. 
by Adidas, by Toyota, and by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Time now for the Great Dane, great question of the week, and it comes from Jim down in Janesville who wants to know, Coach, who makes the final call? I think I might know the answer to this, but I'll let Jim ask it anyway. Who makes the final call on any uniform or helmet color tweaks that the guys wear week to week? Well, the, the, the final word, I'll say yes, but they know the combinations that they can kind of put together, and uh, I go to the, the captains, and have them look at it, the leadership committee, and they choose what they want to be able to wear. It is important, though, that we still keep the traditions. The kids may want to wear more red helmets than I think is appropriate. I think those are still, um, they're great helmets. It's great times. There's two different red helmets, and we need to wear them, and the kids love to wear them, and I love them, and I, I hope the fans appreciate them and like them because it, it's, uh, it's a good change up, but it's also important for us to keep the traditions. All right, Jim, thank you much for your question. Of course, there are many Great Dane locations, including up in Wausau, Great Dane there. There are four in Madison on the east side of town, downtown Fitchburg, as well as Hilldale. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. Fans use signs to identify themselves. The chop, the fork, the O, oh, the come horns. But there's one sign everyone wants to be identified with. Number one, fans show their loyalty in all kinds of ways. Ours just buy another Hyundai. Number one in customer loyalty five years in a row. Show your loyalty using the hashtag thisisloyalty. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the officially sanctioned annual award recognizing all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. NACTA and USA Today co-founded this esteemed honor in 1993, still widely recognized as the crowning achievement in college athletics. It's 2050. I'm one of nine billion people on the planet. Like most, I live in the city. Our air and water are clean, and there's plenty of fresh food for everyone. My parents are getting old, but staying healthy. Good thing, because my kids will probably live to be 100. Can you imagine? The University of Wisconsin-Madison, preparing minds to meet the challenges of the future before they become the challenges of today. Keep on, Wisconsin. Keep on.